I was thinking a little time at home could do best well. It is an idea. That don't seem necessary to me. When you meet Bass, you meet him as a man. And as the story progresses, he begins to turn into the myth and the legend. In episode seven, you witness what turning into the myth and the legend can do to a man. Judge Parker suggested a spell of light or fair. There is so much in Bass, and I think it's the first time since his explosion with George Reeves that he is in that headspace again. That's really his struggle going forward. Looking for a Moody O'Neill. Happen to know where he is? Sitting on this porch. <laughs> Moody is a character that, again, highlights Bass doing things that he's just not sure he's on the right side of things, very much like Jack Rabbit. Moody O'Neill, to me, reads as part Bass's conscience and part the voice of an ancestor. I'm told I entered this world quiet as the night. I intend to leave it the same way. She is the voice that manages to get through the scales that he has built around himself to allow him to do this job day in and day out. She has done something that he did himself in relation to George Reeves. He took justice into his own hands and escaped. <laughs> And it was for him the right thing to do. And here he is now arresting other black people who similarly are doing what they had to do to survive. And yet his job is to bring them in as criminals. It's that question of law versus justice. Bass is beginning to believe that the two can exist harmoniously. Moody is there to further challenge that. <laughs> that granny had you thinking she was ready to hang. Willie is someone who really chips away at Bass's sense of self as a purveyor of justice. You know, some of the things he says. You set out to hang an old black woman in a white man's noose, but I'm cowardly. Bass is entertaining the same ideas, and so I think in many ways there's just a need for it to stop. Ah. Uh. Bass and Willie Leach, they were in an argument. And Bass couldn't stand the cruelty of this individual. Go collect your blood bounty. You up, jump, flee, catch him. Because no matter what you're saying, that's all you is. After the argument, Bass loaded his weapon and shoots him in the neck. What do you do? I think Moody brings out in Bass a moment of the man before we see him do something that is against the moral code of the law he has been tasked to uphold. You know, this is a historical event that we do know happened in Bass Reeves' life, and his decision to face the consequences of his crime demonstrates that at the end of the day, he still believes in what he is doing. So why don't I just ask you, Bass? What are you? Are you gold? Or pyrite? I love this moment in the show because it is truly a full circle. You see the lawman who has rightly been arrested uh, for a criminal act, and Parker who deployed him, who believed in him, now has the very, very difficult decision to make around what he's going to do. There's a tendency to dehumanize our heroes, to make them monoliths. Judge Parker is doing exactly that. Isaac Parker is in a very, very precarious situation. For you, knowing who's who is a simple thing, but justice ain't nothing more costly. Meeting out what you deem to be morally right when all around you are these blurred lines. Judge Isaac Parker recognizes that, and uh, I think it very much influences the decision he goes on to make. Upon careful review of the evidence, I pronounce you not guilty. He returns after hell on the border, seeking absolution. I do think he found absolution in returning home. 
That gives him the strength to saddle up and go and catch bad guys. When I was gone from him, there was a boy that I loved like a son. His name was Curtis. He was murdered. Bass has never been one that's afraid to face any trial or tribulation. His commitment and dedication is ferocious. Bass's job is incredibly intimidating, but you have to go to the dark place in order for the light to have a chance at being seen.